Hey guys, so we are on to question 4 of the NBT solutions to the exemplar questions. And it says if the graph of y equals minus x squared plus 6x minus 5 is reflected in the x-axis and then the resulting graph is then reflected in the y-axis, the new equation is... And then it gives you four options. So we're first reflecting in the x-axis and then the resulting graph is then reflected in the y-axis. So we're doing two things here. So let's begin. We've got an equation given y equals minus x squared plus 6x minus 5. We need to know how to reflect in the x-axis first. Our rule tells us that when we're reflecting in the x-axis, the y values will become minus y. Okay, so if we look at the original equation, the y will be minus y. And everything else will stay the same when we are reflecting in the x-axis. For now, it's that is the equation after reflecting in the x-axis. Now we need to get a resulting graph. We don't normally write a graph as minus y equals and then carry on. So let's make this into a just y equals uh, kind of equation. And when we do that, in the step now, everything will change because I'm changing minuses into pluses. Um, so it will be y equals x squared minus 6x plus 5. So in the equation above, only the y value um, became a minus y. But in the next step, I want to make my minus y into a y, into a positive y, which means because I'm making this entire equation um, starting with a positive y, I've got to change all the signs. All right. Now, what are we doing with this resulting equation? It's going to be reflected in the y-axis. So what am I doing? I'm taking this equation and I'm now reflecting in the y-axis. What does this mean now? According to the rules, x will become a minus x. So if I do that, let's write it over here, y equals, and then x's must all become minus x's squared minus 6. The x will be a minus x plus 5. Okay, if I take out my brackets now, because I want to simplify this, let me see. A negative times a negative is a positive, and then just, so it's going to just be a x squared. A negative times a negative there is a positive, so we're going to have a plus 6x plus Five. Let's see if we've got anything like that above. Yes, we do. It is D. Y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. 